It's the most perfectest! So, um, I did a thing. And I didn't mean to do the thing. But then I, like, hyper-focused on it, and it just happened. So, today, I built my first Minecraft build. I do have one, like, building in creative mode, but I never finished it, and it's creative, so it doesn't even really count. But, yeah, I, I... I am not even quite sure how that happened. So let's go take a little bit of a rewind and see how this all came to be. Hey everybody. I'm just up here working on my ice farming. Um, oh, it's taking forever. But I have also been going and like taking ice from the, the the frozen ocean down below me. But this is where we're going to be establishing our house up in this snowy area. Um, let me take you on a quick little tour. So while we've set up our little farming areas over there and for ugh, that path, that path is because I have spent too many moments in powdered snow already. I got to grab leather boots it's fine it's fine because I, I have I have cute boots anyway so I like seeing them Loki obsessed with this skin it looks like the, the the best version of the type of cold weather clothing that I would wear in my own home anyways we are farming over in that area, but we are going to build here. And I'm just leveling out this area a bit. I feel like it's even a little too small. I might extend a little bit of the, the terrain that way. I'm gonna go down one more level from here. Um, this is our view. So we've got the ice down there in the, it's really more of a river, but you can just barely see the bank over there, and that is where the village is. So it's just out of render distance from here, which actually I think is a really great thing, because then me staying up th through the nights working in here won't end up with our villagers being zombified. We do also have planes right over there, so that's fun. So today I've brought just a bit of building supplies with me. Um, as you can see, I've got the spruce growing there, um, just for my own benefit. I also brought some black concrete powder with me, and we have a couple stacks of black concrete now. And we'll see how much of this build gets put up while I'm here. Before I head on back to our savannah area. <gasps> my turtle! My turtle! Oh, my turtle just hatched! One of two. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. It's kind of funny because that egg was not cracking for the longest time. Like that egg had cracked for, had been cracked for like 15 minutes and then that egg finally cracked and then it just did the second crack and then here he is oh my gosh he's so cute you 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 do you practice that swimming little buddy I've been hearing drowned all around me trying to get at the egg because I'm kind of right in the wall of the river you can see the squid farm right out there I made a little aquarium for my little little turtle buddies Hopefully I'll be able to pick up a little bit of scute and make the turtle shell helmet eventually. Well, looks like it's daytime now, so... That friend probably won't hatch for a little bit. So I've been working a lot up in our new cold base. Um, thus the, 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 the cold skin here. Um... But I've gotten a bunch of packed ice. Uh, packed ice is very, very tedious to farm. 
But we're going to run along here and grab a bunch of granite. Because I do not see myself ever using granite for anything. Except for the trade I just unlocked. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's crazy. The trick I see is going to be figuring out how to make this stop in places. So this is where our mine shaft is, and it's probably the halfway point of what we've dug so far. So my ice, like I'm going to need a whole another stack just to reach that spot. I thought about doing glow lichen just all along the walls in here, as that's a light source that's not going to... <gasps> There's our glow squid, speaking of glowing things. Um... But glow lichen is a light source that's not going to um, melt normal ice. But I decided that packed ice was just generally more convenient as far as this purpose goes. <sighs> but it is very inconvenient to make, that is for sure. Another thing that I've done is unlocked some new trades with our stonemason. Um, big fan of them. So I can get rid of all of my excess granite and andesite, though I use that more often. And he gives me emeralds for them. Not a lot of emeralds, but hey. And then I can get quartz and terracotta which is awesome and I love that all right well I may have gotten a little carried away um I started building and uh well I built a lot um yeah it's not finished yet there's still some things to do but oh my gosh I'm in love I'm obsessed this is the first build I've ever done in survival um, and my second Minecraft build overall but let's 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 take a look inside it's so cozy like obviously there's so much that needs to be added there's no interior whatsoever except for a little bit of carpets right now but I love it it gives me all the cozy cabin Scandinavian vibes. We've got a beautiful view. There's a bit of a porch there that obviously also needs to be finished. The door doesn't even walk out onto the porch yet. <clears throat> a bay window. This is like my favorite thing. I, oh, I love it. I'm obsessed. It's so good. We have a pretty spiral staircase. I love it so much. Um, our roof isn't completely finished yet. <laughs> um, I forgot to bring Deep Slate back with me, so I'm going to need to go and get that and a few other things um, to finish off that exterior as well. I'm obsessed with all the windows everywhere. It's kind of interesting because it's definitely like having windows in a northern place lets a lot of your heat out. And yet, a lot of people have giant windows, at least in the area I'm from, and it's it's kind of funny. I uh, also, I'm going to extend the roof a little bit, just like so it overlaps a little bit better. I just, I have a lot of little finishes to make on the roof in particular before we even get to the interior. Um, I currently have this looking kind of like a glass sliding door type thing um it's just open i'm not sure how i feel about that or what i want to do with it there are so many zombies that spawn around and some of them spawn with pumpkin heads and so they don't die in the sun and it's really annoying and i don't like it that's my house right now and this like spot for barrels it's like the perfect spot and i just i love it and I'm a little obsessed with the whole thing, and I just, oh, my 
my first survival build, I collected all the materials. I did all the things. I cleared out the land and I fought off the zombies. And I have a house. It's not quite finished yet. It'll be finished by the end of the episode. Or at least... Like, I don't know. I, I think I'm going to add a basement. Um, I'm not going to do that for this episode for sure. But like, I'll, get, I'll give it an interior. I'll finish the roof. It'll be great. Yay! <laughs> we bring you a short break from the uh, building process to do a little exploring. I recently found out that if you follow the root system of an azalea tree with the rooted dirt that's right down here, <laughs> um, you probably will find a lush cave. So we're going to do it. Are we ready? Let's go! I don't know the best, like, way to go about going downwards, but I'm just going to build a little spiral staircase. Annoying? Yes. Ooh, we got some rooted dirt. Look at that. I don't want wheat seeds. Take it back, universe. There's a lot of rooted dirt in here. The universe did not take my uh, seeds back. So This is a very large amount of rooted dirt. I think the thing you can do with it is like grow the hanging roots, which is pretty exciting, I guess. Um, like those will definitely be f fun for a build. I love all the little like fairy style builds, but that's not what we're going for with the current build. We'll get to we'll get to something like that eventually because I would absolutely love to build something. But I'm hearing water. When do we when do we get to the when do we get to the cave? <gasps> that was moss. Oh my gosh, yes! There's <gasps> axolotls. I'm so excited and a little scared. <gasps> Let's go! Oh, and there's a zombie right there. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of places to drop off. So... That's good to know. I have sharpness for now. Okay, but we must absolutely have... There's another zombie somewhere. Aha! There's a creeper down there. Oh. For being full of lava and and glow berries, it's not well lit. But we must get our axolotls. That is vastly important. I forgot about them, I'll be honest. All right. Let's go for the beautiful yellow guy. Oh, nope. You're so cute. <gasps> yes! Oh. oh my goodness, I have little axolotl friends. Um, I also definitely need glow berries. And, oh. Do I have, I don't have shears on me. Oh, but I have iron, I can make shears. Cause I think you might need shears to get, I got some moss blocks, but you might need shears to get drip leaf. But don't quote me on that. Hey, bud. 
buddies? Hey buddies, can I take one of you home with me? Yes! I love you! But these guys here are another thing that I really wanted. This is gorgeous, and I think I'm already partly lost. There's my gravel pillar. I have to remember that that's, that's where I go. I see no need to go down there. I am happy to stay right in here, and we're gonna... I do not want to drop the spore blossom into the abyss because I will not be going after it. <gasps> that sounded like I picked it up. And there's another one right there. So we're going to go for that guy too. I'm obsessed. This is incredible. My dear doggo, this is not a good time for you to be shoving things into my hand. This is a delicate operation of the utmost importance. Ugh, I took away so many of the spores, I feel a little bit bad about that. But we should be able to then grow all of the things from the moss that we have. And oh my gosh, look at the cute little axolotls. How do you breed axolotls? Can you breed axolotls? I don't know. Anyways, that's our spot there. So we'll just choop and then head ourselves right back on up. It's daytime. Oh my goodness. That was lucky. I'm so happy. <laughs> I have so many wonderful things. I don't even know. I don't I, I don't really have plans for what to do with this and like where to use this yet. But I know I'm definitely going to have to grow lots of glow berries and uh, a moss farm is a pretty efficient way to get bone meal because you can basically double the amount that you put into it. Well, here in the Cave of Wonders, oh, my my chest plate looks lavender and beautiful. I love it. I just noticed that. Um, armed with the fruits of our wonderful labors, we are going to do a little bit of experimenting in here just to see what we can do with some of the things that we have brought back. The first order of business, of course, is glow berries. I have been working on spawn proofing the roof of this cave. I keep coming in and getting shot or blown up by creepers or what have you. So maybe that will help a little bit more too. But then I think they should grow and we should be able to continue to get more and more glow berries. Another thing to try is what can we do with rooted dirt? I believe if the legends are true, one can bone meal it and get these guys. Now the other question is, can you just break them? No, you cannot. So I imagine if we take a pair of shears after them, we get roots. Oh, that's exciting. So we get hanging roots. I wonder, can you put any sort of like looting or fortune? Did another bat die? That is literally the saddest thing ever. But I'm wondering if we can put like fortune or something on this. I, I don't know that I have a fortune book anymore. There's a pumpkin down here and I keep mistaking it for a slime. <sighs> This cave is popular with the Endermen, what can I say? The last thing is, watch this. Oh my gosh! It's amazing, the grass is a little sad and gross because Savannah, surprise, surprise. But now we've got all the pretty things and I can't, it's amazing. I. Uh, and now I suddenly have 43 moss blocks 
and this is a composting heaven right here. Um, you know what else you can bone meal? Glow lichen. And I have made a pretty dang cool glow lichen farm in the world that I have with my husband. And I think we may well do that at some point here. Okay, guys, look. So I went mining yesterday. And I decided to try the whole trick of like, if you've, if you, you know, use your silk touch pick and then go and um, mine it with your fortune, mine, mine that ore with your fortune later, like you won't fill up your inventory space and yada yada. Yeah. Anyways, I ended up with 42 diamonds from 16 pieces of ore in like, 45 minutes. It was a little insane. Not complaining, though. I've never experienced starvation before. But you know something else I haven't experienced? I bought some suspicious stew from a farmer. He seemed like a nice guy, so... You know. Let's give it a shot, I guess. Well, that was anticlimactic. Oh, is that, does that mean night vision? Do I have night vision? Well, that doesn't help me very much right now. Let's see, I swear I have a bowl somewhere already. There it is. So we'll just add that to the bowl collection. Okay, so this was kind of an accident. I uh, built, built a house. <laughs> I, I uh, didn't mean to. I was up here ice farming and then I ended up hyper focusing and building this whole thing. But hey, it's my first Minecraft build ever. So I guess let's go take a look. <laughs> so obviously we've got the little like Oh gosh, door set up with trapdoors and stuff, and it's three wide and everything. Um, but yeah, you walk in, we've got little plants by the door, little candles in the window. Um, but this is the view from the front door. I quite like it. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm having a little trouble figuring out what to do with all the floor space. But I do like it, and it is very pretty. Um, I, I'm kind of obsessed with these paintings. Um, but I built this, um, wood stove, and it is my absolute pride and joy, and I'm mildly obsessed. I, I say mildly. Um, we've got a little, like, log pile next to it. We got, we got a little glass and candle chandelier there. Um, that's a fairly new addition, and I think, I think, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it yet. We got just a little kitchen area, we got a barrel with a bit of food in it, and a trash can, um, and I think I'm going to add a little p copper piping in here, maybe? We got our kitchen table, um, there's a lot of, oh, it's snowing outside, oh my gosh. This is the most perfectest. I am thinking I'm gonna replace at least some of the mangrove and spruce like details in here with dark oak when I can find some dark oak, but that's a problem for another time. Um, we've got a cute living room here with like a magic illusion floating table sort of thingy and a cute little couch seat area. I am obsessed with this bay window. Like, yes, please. It's so awesome. Um, we got our little spot by the back door. I'm going to put a little item frame when I have leather again. Um, I've, I've been hauling everything in my inventory up from my farm area that I need, and uh, leather hasn't made it onto the list yet. 
But I'm going to make a little item frame and keep my leather boots there because, uh, yeah, powdered snow's dangerous. But I got a little barrel with, like, all my outdoor needs there. And this is, like, a shoe scraper for, like, when you come inside after, after working. And you come in and you scrape your boots off right there. So you don't track mud all over the house. Um, upstairs, I played with this layout a little bit. And I think I like where this is at this point. Um, so we've got kind of like a little half wall Japanese folding wall thing there. And we've got a couple of little wardrobes in here. And our bed and like this stuff is all things I'll replace with dark oak when I have it. Um, over here, the crafting table's just stuck there for now, but I've got a row of barrels back here, which all need item frames for sorting. But we've got our little library area that will have an enchanting table in it eventually. Um, and a fireplace. Nothing's caught fire yet. This chest currently has my valuables in it everything that I've brought up. Look at that. Look at that view. So good. Um, if you look out right here, you can see that I've got a, I've got a chimney. It comes out the side of the house there. We've also got this cute little porch that has a nice little like overlook area and campfire for making those s'mores, you know? So I, I don't know. I absolutely love the feeling of this house. It feels very much like a place I would have loved to live growing up. Uh, I didn't get to grow up in anything this fancy, but like it's one of those things that like I totally would picture like somebody else's house being and like I would totally love to live here in some northern area I am so obsessed with this wood stove this is my favorite I love it it's so awesome I'm still getting used to my controls the way I reset them but yes I'm so excited so much happy it's the best <laughs> I'm obsessed with this place. And watching the snow is just ugh, so good. I did still leave the porch area open. Um, with that like glass sliding door type thing going on there. So that still exists. Oh, I hate that. I don't know what those guys do, but I hate them. So this over here is my farming area. I've got my big tall spruce tree. I've got my ice, which is just completely frozen over right now. I've got a little bit of bamboo and, you know, my lava thing going on. Uh, my little concrete maker, a tiny little wheat area and some trees that I'm growing. I'm going to move everything underground eventually. I've got a little plains biome over there, so I'm going to grab some cows from there eventually. Move it all underground, but there's lots of little, like you can see over here. So there's lots of little ravines and things like this around. I'm trying to figure out exactly like which one I'm going to go with as far as farms are concerned. I think I have an idea. I have a whole idea for like how to get up to my house nicely and efficiently and integrate my farms into that design, everything like that. But that's a problem for a later herbalist. Not my problem today. One last little spot we've got is our basement. Um, so yeah, I've just, I'm starting to set this up as a little bit more of a storage system, a little work area. Um, this area is going to eventually be my um, 
part part of my like system to get up into the house. So I definitely want to make this like cozy and nice too. And we're getting there. I love that I brought the concrete down here too. But that's that's my house. And I think I think that's that's it for this episode. Um I it, I, I wasn't intending it for it to go this direction, but here we are. I made a house, and I love it. It, it. I just, it's so good! Yeah. <laughs> I love the cozy feel. Um, I definitely love, like, I see a lot of YouTubers doing, like, medieval -y builds and stuff like that. And I love that and want to try that style eventually, but this is perfect. This is something I'm very familiar with, and I love it. So, with that said, I think... I think I will bid you adieu. I hope to see you in our next episode, and 